Amazing. Two weeks of hell. Oh my, never again. So yes, in the middle of the process of already a hard card contest, DeviantArt announced another contest and I was like, hmm, hmm, I, I, I do want to enter that contest. So that's what I did. It's the Cookie Run contest. They did this contest right here, this contest, and I was like, hmm, but why would I participate? And I was like, oh, so strange, it's going to end so soon, like, in around uh, uh, one week, one week and a half. And I'm like, what the freak? And then I went to see the prizes. And I was like, mmm, three, 3,000, baby. <laughs> How can I deny it? I will not deny it. And it's so fast. When there is a event art contest that happened so fast in such a small amount of time, it's a huge opportunity. Why, you may ask? Because loads of people are just going to give up because the deadline is short. It's small. And I'm not one of those people. I'm going to try my best on that. And that's what I'm doing. So yeah, I started around, I don't know, in a live stream. You guys can see it. I started with 15 days to the contest, so the contest idea boop, is for you to draw one of the charters. I, of course, have chosen the girl with a tiger, because girl with tiger, brr, our logo is a tiger, we, lo we love tigers here, okay?
I did this mouse catch on live stream. And yeah, after this, boom, base. I maybe got a little bit um, excited with drawing the tiger, so I did a little bit more rendering on him, but just a little bit, not too much, you know. And now it's looking like this. I did more rendering on the girl too. Not that I only have eyes for the tiger, what the frick. So of course I also want to draw the charter. <laughs> Not the image would be better for me if it was just the tiger. <laughs> it's just a joke, okay? I love all the charters, Cookie Run. <laughs> so I have done this at the moment in five days. Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm freaking crazy. And I'm gonna keep doing all this artwork onto the finish. I think my biggest trouble here is about ambient light. Yeah, I need to get a reference for that. And I'm glad that I have already have this reference of Splash Art to help me get guided through it. I'm using totally this artwork as a guide for me. And I think I need to change even more what is saturated here. I don't know, it's still missing a lot, but I know I'm going to get this artwork to look insanely good. I know I'm going to get this. I know. I'm going to get this to happen, and you guys are going to see the full process. My first time participating on the Adivient Art Contest, I was 13 years old, and I drew by hand. And I remember up today that people in my class told me, Gabs, she got two huge bo bobs. It was a Final Fantasy Art Contest. And I was like, nah, it's going to be a great art, they're going to like it. Let me see if I get into that contest. I was not even in the mentions. I was crushed. I was crushed. Nobody even sa said a single thing of my drawing. And that was good for me to develop that thick skin that you need if you want to be in those competitive events, those crazy like gaming uh, events. Yeah, you need to develop that thick skin because when someone is going to comment on your art and is going to be a total hater, it's going to be someone that it's just wants to put you down. You already have that skin to protect you. So I truly recommend her, you guys to developing that thick skin, not caring if people are going to attack you on your art because this is internet, okay? <laughs> I don't know how many times people have said strange Thanks to not say other words on my art. And I'm thankful for them because they made me develop a thick skin to not focus on that and focus on the good thing, on the evolution, on how to get better, on how to serve other people better, how to serve a better artwork to my clients, to the people that I love, to everybody when you're participating in an art contest. Don't be the one that's like, oh, I lost. Oh no, oh, I'm, oh no, I'm going to die because I'm not a great artist. Just don't. You gain it loads of experience. Remember, video game thinking. You're leveling up. Your skills, you got a bigger tree of skills, you know? Skill tree. You, you unlock that certain ability. You unlock that other certain ability. You got uh, amazing artists to talk about and get feedback. Because you cannot only stay in your corner like, hey, you need to go there and say, send a message like, hey, what do you think of my entry? Hey, what do you think of this? Talk, it's good, it's a community. Let's get help with more people. People are there to help you. They want to see you grow and develop your skills. That's good. Yay. You are there to make progress. You are there to do your best. You are there to see you beating up the person that you were in the past. Okay? You're like, hey, Gabe from the past. Hey, punch, punch. Yeah, I'm better than you now. Ha, ha. I evolved. I got 120 XP. <laughs> well, that's it, what I want to say. Have the fun of the progress. You can focus on the price. You can focus on whatever you want. But remember, it's extremely important to enjoy the process. I'm doing this crazy thing here in October because I'm crazy. There is no other answer because I want to do that. I want to have this experience of participating to contests, art, commission, blah, 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 blah. Enjoy the process of evolving, challenging yourself. Hey, hi. So tonight is day 20 of October, only five days until the end of the contest. You can see that everything is dark here because of course it's night. It's almost 10 p.m. 
And as a sum up, I need to say that I'm exhausted. My back hurts a lot, but I just need to lay down. It's going to pass. I'm going to do an extra session tomorrow of stretches. And yeah, it's been pretty crazy to do two contests and and commissions and everything and tutorials and everything together. I'm I'm pretty crazy. I'm I'm sure that I'm pretty crazy. So yeah. But I have been loving the process. I have a lot of fun. It's good. I saw that I needed to turn on more light in my artwork and give more movement. As you guys can see that I included flowers, details as grass, more different types of plants, mushrooms, birds and everything else. And what I started focusing right now, since I have already done the full base, yes, this is a full base for me to start rendering. Nothing here is rendered. I mean, I started a rendering, so only the tiger's face is rendered. All the rest is non-rendered. Yeah, I have five days to finish this, and I see that I can do it. No matter the pain, if I'm taking good care of my body. If we're going to do something crazy, something that you never have done, a challenge, as the name say, please remember that the main thing that you need is belief believe that you can do it until the end it's easy to in the beginning believe that you can do it i want to see you in the middle believe in yourself when you think that everything's lost when you think that oh no i have pain right now oh no i have too many things to do oh no mm, i don't know i think the deadline is too short oh no this oh no that there is no perfect perfect moment for you to take action you need to take action with what you have right now okay and that's what i'm doing i'm doing this contest videos to inspire you and remember all that i'm doing is controlled with ice compression with a lot of stretches i'm going to sleep right now i'm going to sleep eight to nine hours i give i'm giving my body everything that it needs tomorrow i'm going to do an, an awesome workout give more just accelerate my metabolism help my blood cells help all my body that's what i'm doing it's an exchange you cannot have crazy full day work hours if you're not giving to your body the conditions the right conditions to do that okay i could be desperate right now because i have all those things but i choose to be calm and be strategic about what i'm going to do remember peace lets you have your intelligence with you. Panic doesn't. So keep peace with you. I start with a sketch and levels of gray for me to understand what am I going to do? Where is the light going to come from? I already choose this in the first part. I don't let it to the end. That's what League of Legends artists do. I literally learn it with them. <laughs> All that I'm going to show right now is that I learn it with them. You already choose the where the light's going to come from in the beginning. Or you already choose it. You already choose all the um, dynamics, all the composition, everything. And then I made almost a line art to separate well the character. Not a sketchy line art. I love to do sketchy things, but I needed to do it well, a well line for the churches. It needs to be a well done line because you're going to raise it little part by little part and if it's extremely sketchy you cannot handle it and I added a base for the tiger and for the girl literally just a base I use it multiply around the tiger I use it I use it color dodge in the tiger I use it the mode screen on the tiger in the, in the girl too I like to use the modes just to apply the base and like things around here I don't really use those modes, what I do is press Ctrl U and just make it darker or make it brighter, change saturation or change the hue. I prefer it's faster. And then I start to render things, I start to vanish with the sketch line. I start removing the sketch lines. It's such a gigantic work to remove sketch lines. For me, that I'm, a, I, I'm an artist that loves painting, it's a gigantic work. And from here to here, I remove it, loads, loads of them. 
I changed a little bit the place of the characters to have more dynamic, a better composition. Okay, and after that, I started the real render and more dynamics. Because it was too... there was not much action going on. It was everything too stopped, it was everything like, yeah, I'm jumping, yeah, but... Where's the action? Where's the adrenaline? So I put in more dust, I made birds flying to show that like, yo bro, run away from the tiger, that girl and tiger are crazy. And that's what I did in this moment, and right now, I'm rendering. I made, I made the tail smaller because it was not anatomically correct. And I'm going to put a guy right here. And I removed some lines that were too strong. Here in the fur, they were too strong. I don't want especially white fur to be this strong and it should be soft. I'm rendering more the fur right now. What I'm doing today. It was too strong certain points. It needs to have the gradient. We need to be careful to not do things too strong. Thank you.
Hi, so it is the day of the liver of the cookie run contest. I did a 12 hours stream. It's a crazy stream. I work at a full day. Thank you, my supplements, my routine that didn't let me feel a lot of pain. I was feeling more pain before. Right now I'm not really feeling pain and I'm not really feeling tired. Thank you, supplements, vitamins, thank you. This is the final result. It was insane, never doing that again. Don't recommend people doing that, but if just like one time in your life, I do recommend that. Why not try that one time in your life? But the rest, please, no, just don't stop, why? No, you don't need that. Yeah, I do enjoy what it became. I do enjoy the power that we did here. I do enjoy the golden tiger. We are not doing a normal tiger. I also enjoy that we used my previous paintings to make the process faster. So it does not get any trouble with copyright and I couldn't use it as a texture in certain places. And I tr totally love the results. I, tr I truly believe that I'm going to win. I don't know which place because there are too many places. But I want to win the first place, bro. So much, so much. It's a Deviant Art Contest. And as I said before, nine years ago, my first Deviant Art Contest, I just lost it horribly. Horribly, horribly. Last year I got second place and this year I want to get the first place. This was insane. Again, never doing again. My brain, my neurons are not working anymore. So I hope you had a great video. Remember to send this to a friend that wants to enter in a contest. Remember, you need to understand what a judge like. You need to understand your schedule. Make a great schedule to draw. Remember to take care of your body, your health. Hi, let's think about the cookie run check contest. Yeah, this is after the day that I was crazy recording that I don't know what the freak happened. I'm still recovering from that. So if you like this video, remember to leave a like, comment if you want more of this type of content. If you have questions, tell me down below because I'm here to help you and subscribe for more. Thank you very much for watching champ. You're awesome. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye bye!